Hello everyone and welcome back to Reptiles and Resin. So today we are going to be making this African Lady tray mold again. This was the first one I did. And I have a custom order. She wants this one. Oh, I got some green mica powder in there. I had to wipe it off. She wants this one. She had contacted me, Miss Kim, and wanted three of these trays. So this is the first one. So yeah, very, very pretty. This is gorgeous. But the next one we are doing a little bit differently. Well, this one we are. I, I made her one yesterday, but I did not do it on video, but I will show you. I told Miss Kim that I would be showing her on the video as well. And this is the second one that we did. I changed up the mica powder a little bit more. I was trying to go for a sunrise and not a sunset, but yeah, it didn't turn out like that. So we're going to be doing something different today. I was testing out some powders because I want to... A brighter sky so and this is all water and she wanted to try to keep the elephants a little gray and the green on the trees a little bit there yeah so we're trying here I think this turned out absolutely gorgeous so yeah two of her trays are done but I said I'm gonna do a video on the third one now <laughs> on this one I am going to mix up for her skin tone the last on the first tray I basically painted on and to me it was just so light so this is a nail color I nail um mica I got this off of Amazon I will try to put the link in there if they still have them it comes with a lot of set, but it is a very pretty color. And then I mix just the tiniest bit of bronze in there to, to deepen that color. And it turned out gorgeous. So that's the first thing we're going to do is her skin tone. So I am going to mix up, I think it was like one ounce of resin. And I will be back once we go to pour this. You, we may have some fast forwards today because these trays take a minute. They're they're not like wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Um, they go back, you know, kind of slow because you want to get them right. So I'll be back as soon as I get that one ounce poured. Even though I don't think I even needed one ounce for her skin tone, I am gonna go ahead and make one ounce though. So I will be back soon. Alrighty, everyone, we are ready to go. I did not put this through the vacuum chamber. Actually, wondering if I should add more mica to. No, it don't need it. I think it's got enough in there. So I ended up making 20 milliliters. And I think that's plenty, probably a little bit more than we need. I did not put it through the vacuum chamber, but see how pretty it is? Now, you can go darker or lighter. But basically, I need a piece of tape. I see something right there. We are just going to do her skin tone right now. I want to make sure it's everything. So we're going to be doing her skin tone. And then we are going to be letting it dry. And I do want to spray it. Because when you do a light spray, it helps move the mica. Or not mica, but the resin a little better. See how it moves a little better? Now, I don't want too much in here at once. Because I want to make sure it spreads. And I, I'm using my regular... T expert epoxy because if I was to do the one hour fast cure I would not have time to get here and get it in these grooves it would start thickening up too fast on me and yeah so I decided not to use any one hour fast cure 
because once I put this under the Let's Resin um, curing machine, it takes about 30 minutes to get it to where I need it to where we can go move to the next step. Maybe 30 minutes to an hour. It's a little cool today. Oh, I forgot that. Just a little spray. That's all. Just to help it move. Just give it a little spray. It just helped move it a little bit there. Now I'm going to have to squeegee you that little flower right there because he's sickening to get into. Eh, not too much in one spot or it will overflow before it moves. You don't want that. Oops, I kind of went a little over there. Hey, yeah, we're going to have... Oh, wrong side. I want the smaller side on this. Yeah, it kind of went over there. I'm going to have to clean that up a little bit there. See, now I'm going to just push it through here. Get it in all these little grooves. Get it to moving. Sometimes you have to force it to move because it don't like moving on its own. And if it starts separating from the sides, that means you do not have enough resin in here. And, you know, um, UV resin does the same thing too, so. But it's the same way with this if you don't have enough, um room I mean not room if you don't have enough room if you don't have enough resin in here oh goodness I'll get it together in a minute so yeah this is the only real tricky part to where her skin is actually it's going in here better than it did yesterday yesterday I had to squeegee it in it's a miracle Yeah, yesterday I had to squeegee this stuff in. And you want to make sure you get it all because you're not going to get a second chance. Yeah, that is a little full there. And see, it's going to find its way in everywhere. But if it gets a little too full, just take a little bit out with your dotting tool. That's all. Oops, I went over the flower. Might have to fix that as well. And I'm going to just use a little, little squeegee to clean up any areas. Because around it's going to be black. And we still got a little ways to go in here. I've got to, let's see. Well, her face is done. Her beautiful face is finished. I have just got to finish getting around these areas, which can be a little more trickier because they're a little small. And I'm going to spray a little alcohol on here. Oh, you know what? I can't remember if I'm supposed to go around that or not. Uh-oh. That might be one of those to where I don't, I can't remember. Uh -oh. I'm still a little full over in here. So I will take a little bit out on this side over here. Because you can see it coming over the edge there. So I'll just scoop a little bit up with my dotting tool. There we go. And it's still kind of full. You know what? I can't remember. Um, yeah, we do go through these, not that one. Yeah, we go through these. Yeah, because these are her fingers. Yeah. Gotta make, oops, make sure I get it down in there. Other than that, it's gonna form a bubble. 
in there. So you want to make sure you get it in there. <sighs> Alright, did I miss anything? Yes, I did. Her little chin. Well, not chin. Her, her neckline here. And I did put way too much in here, so I'm going to just keep taking it. I think I only needed like 10 milliliters, but I made up 20. You just never know. I'd rather have a tad more than to have to match the skin tone again perfectly. So yeah, I'd rather have just a little more. And plus, I will put that in Scrappy. The scrappy bin because um we'll be doing well let me just say as of today best I can tell between the axolotl the bowl mold and a turtle is seems like where we're headed. Alright, I think I have way too much on this one. Yeah, I do. I got my little squeegee out for this. Oh, and I missed a finger right here. I so did. Oh, little bubble just popped out. Just lightly spray it. That's why I like that mister. Only a little bit comes out. I really like that misting bottle. Um, let's see. Didn't I get one on a flower? I don't see it on the flower now. Maybe I, maybe it came off. I do need to clean this up, though. I do know that. Now, right now, I'm just definitely double checking. And I think that's a finger I missed right in here. So, I'm going to borrow from this again because it's still kind of full there. And I am going to have to get in here. I don't want no bubbles forming. And since this is flat and such a thin surface, that's why I chose not to put it through the vacuum chamber. Because all these bubbles are going to pop anyway. Oh, I think I just seen one though clinging right in there. Oh, I think that's still him. Where is my real skinny one? Here it is. That's either that or I think that's a bubble though. All I know is it's too thin to put a lighter on it. I do not want to put a lighter on this and ruin my mold. Because I absolutely adore this mold. I really, really do. So all this is going to be black. But you still want to clean it off somewhat. Because if you don't, then you're going to have, you're going to see them spots. Because whatever touches this mold first is what you're going to see. So if you got spots all in here, you're going to see that if you even if you covered up with black. Alright, so double check to make sure we have all of the fingers. Oops, uh, where'd that go? Is that's either a bubble? Yep, see, there was a bubble. Now it can run down in there. It sure was a bubble up in there trying to hide. Most of the time they're going to come up to the surface. Like I said, this isn't that thick. Spray it with a little more alcohol. But you just want to double check because you really don't want no bubbles. And the bubbles would show on the other side. But if you do get some... You know, you, you might just have to work on it a little bit there. Once it cures. See, that was overfilled. I didn't realize that. So is this one. And if I leave it on there, it's going to show through. Yep. So a lot of these place, well, spaces don't take a lot. As you can see, I still have half of what I made. And I do believe that that is the end of it because this is her earring. I don't feel that. We're going to put color in that 
um, this right here, oh gracious, this gets colored in black, yeah, or does it, wait a minute, is that a finger, oh for the life of me, I don't know, but I do know I want to drag this a little bit more this way and hopefully it won't retract on me because the last time it did still looks good though yeah i'm really trying to i think that is in between her finger oh lord yeah that's in between her finger that is not her finger yeah that that's in between so you'll see the background yeah had to double check my other tree. I w do not want to miss nothing. And I don't want to miss a thing. No, I do not. Okay, let me stop nitpicking at this. <laughs> okay, that's perfect. We're going to, I'm going to put this in. What I do is just take my. Let's resin, oops, and there went down the gold flakes. I just take my Let's Resin heating machine. I do not like the plastic bottle, bottle, bottom. So I sit it right here and turn it on. I hate the bottom that comes with this. It warps. It's, it just, nothing stays flat. So yeah, I quit using that a long time ago, the bottom of that. I most certainly did. So, I'm going to take the rest of this beautiful brown. And I am going to pour it in here because we are trying to get our scraps. So, because we're either doing an oxalato bowl or turtle, it seems like. It doesn't matter to me because guess what? I know they're all going to be beautiful. So, I'm going to let this drain before I clean out. And this is what we have so far. I had to switch from the cups, you know, the little plastic cups, to a bin. And this is actually the perfect bin I found in my closet in here that had nothing in it. So, yeah, it's the perfect bin for that. So, yeah, so now we're just, well, like I said, I'm going to put this on top. We're going to let this cure, and I'll probably be back. What are we doing when we come back? Um... Okay, the next step is for me to paint the scene with the mica powders. So, I will be painting the earring on, her headband, the water escape with the birds. We will be painting the skyscape. And hopefully, we can get it to a, a beautiful sunrise and not a, a sunset. We want it brighter, not darker. So, we're going to try. And hopefully, Miss Kim will love him. I will see you soon. Bye for now. Alrighty, everyone. So, we are ready to start painting her with our mica powder. So, like I said, we're doing a few things a little bit different today. Um, got my little, it's like a little makeup spongy thing we're going to get a little silver on our elephants just a wee bit of silver here on our baby elephant and our mummy elephant or daddy elephant And this does a good job of um, just like getting a little bit on there and not making a mess, basically. Alright, I'm going to bring this to me where I can see it a bit wee bit better there because I don't want to go all the way down yeah just want to go to his the bottom of his um 
feet. Get her a little butt and tail. I may need a little more powder. spot right in there. Let me see here how we looking. I'll burnish it in pretty good. Make sure baby over here has got coverage. Okay. Think that is good because we're only doing the elephants. Okay. So that is our gray and it's a nail powder as well. And if I forget to link these, I will just let me know. And I've got a number 10. It's a pretty green. And I'm going to use this for the trees. And I've already got my little thing right. Oh, dang it. Did the other one. I'm going to have to clean it up. Let me turn my thing around here. Because I don't use a lot. Just put it on a little pad and brush away. I got some on the birdies. I have to wipe that off. Well, no, not really, because it's going to be covered in black. So, never mind. I forgot. You're not going to see that. But by the time we're done, the birds will be black. Make sure I get this little stem of tree over here. Okay, I do want to get a little alcohol here and a Q-tip. And, oh yeah, we want to wipe that off there. Try to go on and clean up our elephants. I'll go on and get that off and that off. It's spreading. Without wiping my elephant off. Okay, did I? Okay, that's fine. I did get some right here, though. Let me go on and get that off. Okay, what is next? Okay, wait a minute. Still want to get a little... Okay, I'm going to switch... Oh, brushes. Where's my swishy brushy thingy, my jigger? I'm going to do this one a little different than I did the other one. I am going to put a little bit of green, like, right in here. Just at the bottom parts of it a little bit here. Yeah, just a little bit of green in here. I try to do each one a little bit different than the other one. That way each one is a little bit different on its own. Okay, so we are done with that green. I'm just putting a little bit down in there. Just for some greenery. Okay, so, oh, I'm very intimidated about the sky. What did I do? Uh-oh. 
I've done dropped all my mica powders. Okay, so I picked canary feather uh, from Doodle Hog for this, like, oh, where's my other one? That was not it. Okay, wait a minute. I'm missing a color somewhere. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm missing a color somewhere. Where did I put it? This ain't it. And I know that's not it. Where did I put it? It's a little bitty little thing, too. That's the problem. Oh, boy. It's a little bitty. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the blue I was going to add. Now, where's my coppery color? Oh, I found it. It fell in the drawer. Okay, and then I've got this one for a little coppery color. So, we are going to paint. Make sure I brush out all that green. Okay, so. I'm going to just get drop some in here. And that's even over the other mica powders and things. So yeah, we're just dropping some in here. It may be a lot. It'll be all right. I want to get a little bit more of that into there. Okay. So now I'm going to drop a little bit of my coppery color in here. And you see, I'm just kind of stroking it along here. You just want to kind of blend it. And I'm not, I don't have a lot on my brush because this stuff will show up really good. I get a little quiet when I do this kind of stuff, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I get a wee bit quiet there. Because I'm trying to really think about what I'm doing here. And I pray that this turns out really well. I do want a little orange up in that tree there. Okay, now I want to add just the slightest of this blue. Oh, I don't, you know what? I don't know if I want to use that blue, though. Hmm. I think I might switch to this one. Let me see. I think it's a little bit. Okay. And you see, we're just putting a little bit on in little spaces here. Okay, and we're going to pre this looks really good. I'm going to just take some of this powder off my hand that I just put here. We're going to pre that this looks really nice. And if she likes this, because you know what? It's harder when I'm just gung ho in it. Well, it's harder when you're making an order for someone and you try to get it the way they would like it because you don't want to mess nothing up. You want to try to give someone what they want and not what you, you just made yourself. Okay, so basically I am going to now just go in and we are going to blend the heck out of everything. We're not worried about what's going on, where. Or who or what. It's all going to blend together. Whatever touches kind of first is what it's going to be anyway. So even though I'm going over all this. That, that first color is what's going to.
kind of stick where it want to stick at. But then again, it will blend a little bit as well. So yeah, you wanna you wanna blend it. And I'm going straight across, no circles. And I tried a few of these, and I ended up going with a white mica background because black just made everything super dark so this will be getting poured with the white mica powder behind it because anything else just turned it super dark and we don't want a night scene we want oh i'm making a mess a light scene okay so basically that is that one i'm gonna clean out this el cheapo brush again and we are going to start. So, yeah, I'm using a lot of different mica powders. I just try to find colors that I like. And a lot of these are not micas. Actually, this is the only true mica we're using. The rest of them are like chameleon powders and stuff like that. Nail powders. But this is the only true mica. And this canary feather is such a beautiful yellow. It, it really is. I did initially pick this yellow but in the end it was too much I, I don't know I just it was pretty but it wasn't it was too much mixed in there's blue there's purple in here it was just a little too too much okay so now we are going to start on the water now with the water let's see we got the purple oh, let me close this Okay, yeah, that's not the one I wanted. It's this one, the blue, purple, red. That's it. Eee, let me get these off. All right, that one. We want this one, which is like a tealy blue. I know it shows up kind of weird. And there was one more. I don't think it was that. Or was it was that one? Maybe it was. No, maybe it was this one. Yeah, okay, so we got three different shades of blue. So we're going to kind of start out down here with the darker. Kind of just swish it around. Then we're going to move to a little bit different of a dark. And I'm not rubbing these in as I go. I'm just touching. So see, I'm just touching it on. Because we're going to blend um, once we get our powders on here. We're going to blend them then. Alright, so I'm going to get a little light around the birdies. They're either cranes or flamingos. Alrighty, and this is our water. Don't want to put too much dark up in here. But I do want different tones of water if that makes sense. I mean, water basically has no color. So, yeah. Alright, so now we are going to blend. And I'm going straight, I'm not going in circles. I'm just brushing straight across. So we want to blend it straight across. And then we will get some cleanup done once I get all these micas. What's left? Her headband and her earring is left. And I will brush it all off at once, and then I will go around everything, clean it up, and I will mix up two different kinds of resin, because I do want a black for this water, but, or a, a I, I, 
Or I could do a dark blue as well, which I might do, but I want white for this. I do know that. And I'm praying she loves these. Like I said, it's hard when you're making things for other people because you don't want to mess nothing up. All right, I probably did not have to add that. I probably just putting powder on for no reason because basically it's on there. Okay, so we are going to put all our blues up. And this was the purple, blue, red, this darker one. This is a chameleon powder. And these are like chameleon um, powders as well. I think these came from Timu right here. I could be wrong, but I think they did. I, I, you know what? I might be putting the wrong lid on these. Yeah, I did. Okay. Yeah, because this one's more greeny blue. And you can use any colors you want, but kind of test them a little bit. I kind of like, like to put them on paper. Or not paper, but like a paper towel or something. And check them. Okay, so. Um... I got a little bit of powder in my earrings, so I'm going to get a little alcohol on this Q-tip and pray that I can get it out. I think I want a little gung-ho with that. I just want to get it out the circular part. Oops, well, thank God that ain't mica powder. I would have messed that up. Alrighty. Just get all of this out of here. Get a little more alcohol on here. And it would be fine because it could be two-toned. Because we're going to do her earring in a green as, anyway. So, Alright, so we got all that out of there. What's next? Oh yeah, her headband. That's right. I will run this through here for this headband real quick like. Just to get anything that may be on there, out of there. Okay, so we're going to start with the earring. And where's my earring color? I don't use this green. Okay, this is the black cherry. You know what? I'll go on and do... Um, I'm going to do her um, um, headband. Oh, is this the right one? You know, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah. I'm going to use the black cherry one for this. And these are good for putting on mica powder or taking them off. But they really get down in here really good in these little areas and get you some mica powder in here they work really really good so you could put on or take off with these and i'm gonna take this over the trash can and knock it off once i get all my powders on because there ain't no use doing it each time you just want to do it one time and that's it Instead of knocking it off every color you put on here. Unless the colors are in your way. Then that's different. I know it's looking brown, but it's going to be like a dark, um, like a reddish color. It's looking like a goldy brown. Then I'm making a mess. I'm trying not to. It's not going to be a goldy brown. It looks a goldy brown. It's going to be like a, a brown cherry color. Because it's dark cherry. Alright. So that's good on the dark cherry. Okay. I need to find my green. And did I put it back in the box? That's maple. Maybe I should have used maple. Oh yeah, here go the green. Here goes the green. Okay, so I'm going to use the same little brush and we are going to do her earrings in 
this green. You don't have to worry about getting it up the side because we're going to do that in black and you won't even see it, but you know, I do it anyway. Do want to make sure I get it in all the little crevices though. And mica powder goes flying or flicking everywhere around here when you do this. It just flicks. Flicks off the ends. Alright, so I think we got that pretty good. You don't have to worry about cleaning all this off because you are not going to see any of that once I am done. The only thing we have to worry about cleaning is the sides. See right in here? We need to clean up all of that. And down in here where some of it got in. So that's the only thing we have to clean up. Yep. It's the only thing we have to clean. Alright, I think I've gotten that pretty good. So I'm going to walk away while I can. And now I'm going to knock it over the trash can. Or blow it over the trash can. Whatever floats your boats. All right. Now we are finished painting. I know it looks kind of like a all one color, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> it, it'll show through. All right, so we're going to get some of this stuff out of our way. And I am going to... Oh, what do I need? I need more Q-tips more than I do these. So, yeah. Because I am going to do cleanup mode now. And I need a little cup for some alcohol because I don't feel like dipping my or thing in the thing in there every five seconds. So yeah. So I do want to make sure all of this is cleaned up because you are going to see. No, wait a minute. Is this? No, this is not covered in black. So yeah, you will see through all of this. Because that's where the clear is going. So I just kind of run it across here. To, for the first initial step here. But we're going to come back and make sure we get it all. But right now we're just getting some of it off. And we'll get us another side here. Come back in. And get some more out. Oh, my stomach is growling. I must be hungry. I don't feel like eating right now. I'm too busy. <laughs> too busy to eat. I want some fried chicken. Somebody bring me some fried chicken. I don't. I like to cook chicken, but I don't like grease everywhere. So, yeah, I prefer to go, just go buy fried chicken. Yeah, somebody go buy me some fried chicken. Okay, that's that one dirty. Like I said, I try to get it from here first. Oh, now my nose itches. Out of all these little crevices that it just likes to cling to, apparently. And feel free to fast forward if I'm taking too long. Please. Because, all, I, you know, some people like to see every step. They could be beginners and not really understand what's going on. So, okay, so we're just cleaning. We don't want to get into the grooves, but if we go on top, like right in here and here, it ain't going to kill nothing. And see all this? I'm going to get a paper towel and get that. I'm just using a Q-tip to go around this. I'm not going down in the bottom with a Q-tip. Just this top part. 
That is it. That way I can kind of control what I'm doing and get in these little grooves. And I think I've got this side pretty good. So I'm going to, oh, let me move that. I'm going to flip it around here. See, I got all them sides, but like I said, I'm going to put a paper towel around my finger and rub those down. But in here, in these little bitty, like, little sections, I got to get that out. Because you will see that if I do not. Because the black or the white will not be going in there. So you will be seeing that. And we don't want to see nothing but the beautiful gold that comes through. Alright, I'm going to switch again. Oh yeah, certain way you turn this, you can kind of see what your sunset's going to look like. So yeah, I think that's going to look really good. Or not sunset, this is supposed to be a sunrise. I'm trying. I just pray, Miss Kim, I pray you love it. Which, before this video come out, it will, she will most likely already see it. Because I would prefer to send pictures in case she doesn't <laughs> like them. Yeah. I would prefer to send pictures that way I know, hey, do I need to do something different? Because I don't mind. And I think these are the same trays I will, I'm going to make for Christmas presents as well. So you may see one or two more of these get made. Because these are very nice to put your makeup on or sit them in the bathroom. Very nice. Nice deep. Like, you know, like put your room to um, nothing to fall out. You can sit your jewelry in it. Put all your gold in there. Okay, so I think we got this. Oops. I just messed that up. Why is it at the very end I messed that up? Oh boy, I tell you. Yes, I did. Boy, I tell you. I'm going to just try to get some of this. Now I'm going to have to knock it back off again. Dang it. Okay, I don't think... Okay. Stay away from those. Alright, so now I need a small piece of paper towel. That I'm going to spray a little alcohol on. And I am going to wrap it around my finger like this. Because I feel like I have more control than I do with the Q-tips. And I get both sides at once when I do this. <laughs> and instead of that Q-tip driving me crazy. Now the Q-tip's perfect for the smaller areas. But to go around this, yeah, no thank you. I'll stick with this. It's easier for me. And the main thing is, it's whatever easier for me. May not be easy for you. You do you, I do me. We all have our own methods. So I'm going to kind of turn. Oops, my finger done went through it. I'm going to spray it a little bit more here. Get a little more alcohol on here. And we are almost ready to, once I go around this, to pour our white over that. So we've got everything painted. I just want to make sure I clean my sides because I don't want to be bending this and moving it once I have the rest of my, um, you know, like all this on here. I don't want to be moving that around. Oh, the TV just came on by itself. I'm going to get this finished and then shut my door. The living room TV and my this room is right by the living room. So. 
I'm gonna go shut this door. Because I prefer not to hear any news this morning. Okay, um... Make sure I got the sides good because I do not want no marks. Okay, let me go shut this door real quick. All right, that blocks out the sound somewhat there. All right, so what did I say I was doing? Oh, yeah. I forgot what I was doing. Okay, so we are going to... Where are they? Um, we are going to mix up the one hour fast cure and I have to find part A and I just seen it because it had fell somewhere but now I can't remember where I saw it, where it fell oh now I remember it was right by my foot I remember now alright so we are going to make up Da, 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 da. I'll just get some of these and leave them out. Okay, I'm going to get something to put my little cup on so I can see it better. See? And I'm just going to... Let's see. What is this going to be? The I'm going to do the black first, and that's for this. So, I'm only going to make up uh, a quarter of an ounce. Oh, I need gloves. Yeah, I'm only going to make up a quarter of an ounce for this. And I'm not putting this in the vacuum chamber because I was using this to test all my test pieces with. And I did like five of these, which will be getting cut up in the extras bin. I will be cutting them up. But, um, yeah, I did like five of them. And I noticed that. Oh, Lord, I, I'm putting the glove on the wrong way. <laughs> putting the thumb in the pinky area here. Alrighty, get it together in a minute. Okay, so I learned that in little bitty batches, and you s stir in your mica powders or whatever you want real quick, and give it a shot of alcohol, like a little spray. Stir it up really good. Give it another shot of alcohol, stir it up really good. It kills all those little micro bubbles. From what I can see, it does really good. And I didn't see any bubbles. So I was happy. And plus, we're doing little batches. So this is a quarter of an ounce right there. And see, we're just doing little bitty batches. And I need a little itty bitty spoon because I don't want to use the big spoons. Okay. Oh crap, what am I, what are we doing black? Where's, or we can do blue too. Matter of fact, we are going to back it in blue. Where's, that's gold. I'm going to use, yeah, the Let's Resin Intense Chameleon Powder blue on the back of this. Instead of using black. Okay. I love Let's Resin's Blues. Lord have mercy. With a side of Jesus. Alright, so now I'm going to just give it a little shot of alcohol. Wasn't even a full spray. And we're going to stir it up for like two minutes. I like these little medicine cups because you can actually go around without having to worry about it. Oh, I love this blue. Why can't I get a, a, a 50 gram jar of just this one blue? Let's resin. Make just this one blue in a 50 ounce jar. I wish. Because that is gorgeous. Alright, so now I'm going to give it another little shot of alcohol. And those bubbles just come right to the surface. And pop. Plus, we're not pouring it that deep as either. Oh, let me go on and put the camera back. I forgot, you guys. Yeah, because we're not, we're not pouring it that deep. Look at that beautiful blue mixed in with resin. I love blues. I don't know what it is about blues. It just calms me. I love blues. And we just want to make sure we stir it. 
I might actually give this one another shot of alcohol. See the bubble? I don't know if you could tell, but the bubbles are just coming up, popping everywhere. And that's good because actually it's starting to get warm in my hands. Yeah, and like I said, I treat this like polyurethane resin. I really do. I treat it like polyurethane. The faster you get it poured, the better off you're going to be. Yeah, I'm quiet. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make sure I don't mess up. It doesn't matter if you go over a little bit. As long as it doesn't blend in where it doesn't supposed to. But I want to get this out my cup before it starts thickening it up. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Oops, we got a... Oh, nope, that's fine. I'm going to let that drain down in there. I'm going to take my dotting tool and try not to scratch anything. I'm going to just poke, 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 poke. Poke in the bear. Because I don't want to scratch this. Okay, so I'm just trying to get to places where I know it may have problems going in or there may be a bubble like the little corners I'm really hoping for no bubbles but you just never know okay see how it's starting to run over I don't want it running over here stay a little butt on over there Actually, I see how it's stringy now. I do need to get some on this elephants instead of pouring black on the elephants. Yeah, I just need it right here on these elephants. And see, I got a string already, so that tells me that it is setting up quickly, very quickly. Which is a good thing for me because that way I can get this cured. But I don't know if I have enough time to get it over here onto this elephant. And I don't want to put strings everywhere. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. I was supposed to... um put some in the earrings for the ladies earrings yeah and I am getting strings everywhere and that's what I don't want And I'm only putting black here because I want that silver to show through and not be light. That's all. Oh yeah, it's stick in the cup too. Yep. See how fast that stuff works? That's why, yeah, you don't have much time to work with this. Now, it doesn't go rock hard, but boy, does it get sticky. Oh, da 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 da. I don't see it nowhere. I 
Haha, <laughs> I'm losing it. As you can see, I'm trying to keep from making up black resin, but hey, yeah. And like I said, if you use this stuff, now I'm telling you, use it like you would the Let's Resins Polyurethane. Because that's how fast it gets sticky. And I didn't even put this one in the vacuum chamber. If I would have put this in the vacuum chamber, I would have even had less time to work with it. And I don't even think I'm going to pour that because this one got too sticky to where if I even try to, I'm just going to make a big old mess. Okay, so... That's that one. I am not going to be using that for the white because, as you can see, I have a whole much larger space to fill with that white. And, oh, you know what? I do need, but I still got to fill in the headband. Boy, I tell you. You know what? I'm going to just... What am I going to do? I'm going to get another cup and make up some more. That's what I am going to do. Oh, let's see. What is the smallest amount I can make? Um, that would be five milliliters. So that's what we'll be doing. All right, let's see. 2.5. Oops. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> Any more would have been over. All right, 2.5. And then we need to go to the five. So, yeah, I got to make up black anyway because I got to do the headband, too. And I am going to get... Oh, gosh. Oh, here's the black. I don't use pigment paste in this stuff because I do not know how it would react. And I really don't want to see. All right. So, I'm going to put just a little bit of black in here. We are going to get this stirred up. Shot of alcohol. Get this stirred up really, really good. Break up all that mica powder. And I'm stirring just as fast as I can. Oh, Lord, shaking the whole thing. Another little spritz of alcohol there. Let me move this before I knock powder over. I did that one day. I don't remember if it was on camera or not, but boy, I had black powder everywhere. All right, so now I am going to get this in here before it starts sticking it up because it will. And like I said, we're not worried about it running over. As long as it doesn't go running over on the wrong direction. As in over that edge. Because all of this is going to be black anyway. But that will be the last step in our well almost the last step in our process but I kind of changed up I inked the last one I'm not inking this one all right so we're not gonna worry about all that we're just gonna pray that that is in there with no bubbles attached and see all this extra you don't have to worry about all that just leave it there as long as it don't go over that edge you are perfectly fine it can go all anywhere else it wants to go. 
Just don't let it go over the edge. Actually, I don't want it on her skin tone either. Because then it's going to make it blotchy. But anywhere this way will be fine. Alrighty. And this is already almost rock. So yeah, okay, do I need black anywhere else? No, the trees can... No, the trees can... Nah. The trees are going to get some black, I guess. See, I didn't have to worry about this, the other one, because I poured it all black. <laughs> I got to worry about the some of the stuff sticking out. So certain things have to be black. Or they will be muted and but see we want the sky muted because if we not it's gonna be a night if we put black behind this sky it's just gonna turn it um night and this is setting up already again on me already setting up so let me try to get it in here before I get trails of sticky stuff everywhere one thing about it when it like this you don't have to worry about it um running off on the sides on you once it starts thickening it up here you don't have to worry about it. you just have to watch the tails like that one yeah you don't have to worry about it running off the side though but like i said it 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 sets up quick here. Super quick. Yep. Oh man, I did not want that on there. It should be alright. And that's all going to get black on it anyway, so that will be fine and dandy. All right. Make sure I've got it all on that. Because we are not filling the trees up with black. We want the trees to stay green. Or she wanted green trees and gray elephants. So that's why I kind of wanted to do it like this to guarantee that it's going to be green. Because there's no guarantee. So yeah, okay, that's all fine. Okay, we're done. I don't even think I can put this. I might be able to put this in here. I know this one I can't. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Now, I might be able to get this one squishing down in here into the the extras because he is super thick. Yeah, I got some of that down in the extras pile there. Good gracious to mine. And like I said, that stuff cures really quickly. I am going to spray that real quick. Do not spray this or these mica powders will be gone. No spraying. Alright, well, since that's not... There's a bubble right there. Not taking that... Oh, my word. I am super sticky now. There's a bubble right there. Even though... I don't think it will matter. It should be fine. Oh. I'm gonna have to... This glove ain't sticky. I'm gonna have to change this glove. I can't deal with that. That stuff gets super sticky. Alright, so I'm going to mix up some white. And I am going to mix it up. What in the world? Oh, the alcohol was in here. That's right. I was like, why is that wet? Alright, so I'm going to, since this is so much cured, I'm mixing up some white now. And I am going to mix up 
Da -da 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 -da. 20 milliliters. And I am mixing up my regular, just regular epoxy. Oh, what did I say? 20? Yeah. So I'm going to mix up 20. That's probably a little more than I need. But that's okay. All right. Oops. There we go. All right. What are we looking at there before I put... Let's see where... Okay, 10. Okay. Awesome possum. All right. And where's my white mica powder? Where did I put it? Okay. And for that, I'm using the silvery white to background that. Because I found that that work the best all right so we just need to go to the 20 i am not putting this in the vacuum chamber either because there's no need to all right i need to go to the 20 and i'm pretty sure i have made up way too much here but we're just gonna put it in our extras if we had oh 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 okay yeah, we're just going to put it in our extras. Ow. Extras, pal. I'm not using my acrylic because they're they're kind of big. So that's the only reason why I'm not using them today. So I'm going to just get some good old white in here. The silvery white is my favorite white. Besides the pearl. The white pearl. And be careful mixing this stuff. So yeah, I'm on the hunt for a red Christmas mica. By the time y'all see this, I may have done order one because Miss Lisa and I think Miss Karen already told me about two different ones. And Base Resonator also sent me one that looked honestly very promising. And it's an eye candy. I can't remember. Bucky Red, that's what it was, Bucky Red. It looked very promising for a red. I have a red, but this thing is blue in it. That's all I can tell you. It's got blue in it. And it's hard to find a good red. I have some ruby reds and stuff, but they're dark reds. Like, almost brownish red. All right, so we just want to stir this up for about four minutes. We want it look, and I don't want to see that stick through there at all. So, yeah, and you see I gave it a little shot of alcohol. This is a wee shot of alcohol. And I want to make sure I get this cup right here is a little bumpy, so I can't go around good. I should have used one of them other cups, but I grabbed this one. And this came with that BB craft kit the other day. Because I rarely don't have these kind of cups. So I've been wiping them out. They're just a little more sturdier. I wouldn't consider these really a throwaway cup. But you could. But they're not bad. If you're just doing, It doesn't have ounces on it though. It only has milliliters on this. Alright, so I'm going to call that almost done. I am, like I said, I'm going to give it another little shot of alcohol. And by the time it gets ready to pour in, the alcohol should have dispersed and left the raison. Just want to make sure it is mixed well. I don't want mica powder that, because that won't look pretty at all. And this should be, yeah, I can actually touch this without it coming up. So, yeah. It's sticky. Like, I can leave a little print there, but it's not going to blend in, if you understand what I'm saying. And this is the only part we have left to do, except for come back and fill it with, um, I done lost that too. Our gold leaf and clear. And then the last step is I'm going to take a little squeeze bottle and fill in all the little black lines, which actually isn't that bad. I enjoy doing it. So, yeah, I find it a little bit easier than doing the pin for this one. 
and it kind of looks nicer. All right, so I'm going to call that a day on stirring. And we are going to lightly pour. There's little itty bitty crevices right in there. And in here. So I'm going to get a little. I'm going to get my little. The thinnest dotting tool that I have. And try to. Pokey pokey. Okey pokey. Right on down in there. And we can go on and just start filling all of this one up. Some little pieces, three little spots right here. If I can ever get the resin to drip right there. There we go. I can't spray it so I really hopefully no bubbles get trapped because I cannot spray this oh poured way too much there did not mean to do that went a little happy there or heavy handed some would say I can take this off of here want to get some down in here where the little elephant's feet are. Like I said, this takes some time, so I apologize. I'm not putting it on a fast forward. All you have to do is fast forward it yourself. Some people like to hear me talk all day. Some people don't. It's a personal preference, but that's why they made a rewind button on our TV. So, you can rewind. I do it sometimes. I don't rewind to the end to see, but you know, if somebody's sitting there doing that, I know how to do this. So, I do rewind. So, yes, you know, if it's something I already know, like the technique they're doing... Yeah, but say somebody didn't know how to do this. Would you want to be on a fast forward learning? I know I wouldn't. I would love to see every little step. So that's why I'm trying not to do too many fast forwards. Because if you're just learning, you want those every little step. Like I say, you don't want to miss a thing. Alrighty, so basically, well, we almost used it all. We used more than half of it. And yeah, it is domed, and that's fine. You're still not going to see none of that. So, yeah. Okay, I want to make sure I got everything. I It can go over the elephants. It does not matter one little bit there anymore. As long as this is in all these little crevices covering up all of our mica. See, you ain't even going to see this because that's going to be black. Them little things that was just sticking up. God, that's a beautiful blue. Lord, have mercy. All right. Um, Anything else? No, I do believe. Oh, yeah, we don't want to go over that edge. Let me push that back a little bit. You don't want to go over this little rimmed edge. Because then it's going to go into the back. Alright, so we've got all of that done. I pray that our beautiful sky turns out lovely. I really, really pray it does. I am going to cover up these little feet at the bottom. Just in case something got missed. With the black... You don't want to miss anything. Alright, so we're going to... I'm going to actually pour this onto the black that just went in there. Since we have a, a scrappy project coming up soon. Just get whatever I can get in here. I 
I did get one little square of almost full blue. Alright, I'm going to let that just drain off some more. I am going to... Oh, I have no cups to clean. Hallelujah. <laughs> I did get that clean, though. Alright, so I'm going to put that um, curing machine back over this. It literally takes about 20 minutes. 15. You just... Because you just want it tacky. You want it to where if I pour something else on it, it's not going to blend and meld together. That's all you're looking for. You're not looking for a full cure. You're just looking for a cure that where the two is not going to blend. That's all you're looking for. And then you can move on to your next step. And that will be 8 ounces, I believe. It was 8 ounces because I had 2 ounces left over. So I made Kim some extras. Uh, little cuties that I will show you at the end of the video. Um, but yeah. We'll be back soon. I'm putting him up on the... Well, I'm knocking over alcohol. And I'm going to... I'm not turning on the heat mat because it really wouldn't do me any good. But I am putting this on. And I do set a timer so I set it at 20 minutes, like on the Alexa, and then I come check it. If it's not done, I'll leave it for another 10 or 15. So I'll see you soon. Alrighty, everyone. Everything is dry. I mixed up eight ounces of resin. Let's hope that's enough to dome it. Get ready to pull it out the vacuum chamber. I added the smallest amount of Unicorn Art Crush Crystal, just a tad, just to see some silver sparkle in it. But, you know, we're going to add some more later. We'll see. And I use the gold, the lakes. Now, I moved in a little closer. This is our eight ounces. <clears throat> Give it a little spray of alcohol. But we are going to spray down in here really good now before i came on the only thing i did was go around this tray one more time and make sure that i had no mica powder you know anything in there and hopefully it's still free of nothing in there because you know once they see the dust and everything, glitter sees you trying to do something, it's on and popping. That's all I say. Alright, so we have our stuff. And basically, we are just pouring. That's all. And I sure hope this 8 ounces is enough because last night I made up 10 and it was too much. I had extras. And I was trying to avoid the extras. Now I am going to go through here with this little silicone tool and pray that we get any bubbles loose. That may be around these little sides. Has a lot of curves, a lot of angles, a lot of places for these bubbles to say, hey, how you doing? Yeah, we don't want that. They be wanting to stick around and join the party. Yes, they do. So I'm just going around. Yeah, we sh hopefully have enough. It's already around all of the edges almost filled up there. So yeah. Now, you know, you know, I always do the, the painting scenes with Micah, but you do not have to do that. You can also just pour on here, like how I did blues and stuff, and do it, you know, your own way. You don't have to do it, but it's not hard doing the Micah. Just try it. You might actually find your, you can paint it. Now, what, you know, just take your time. If it don't look right, don't go no further. Sure, that's okay. We or practice like I did on the little on these with sunsets. Practice on the little that's a little 
two inch disc or you can get a coaster and practice on all right I'm gonna stop there and I'm gonna give it a little spritz that way anything can get off my sides before I finish filling it up here I do have some resin on these sides I need to get off from when I put that dotting through dotting tool through yeah so yeah eight ounces was enough because we've already got resin in here we filled up now if you're just gonna put pour a straight pour tray I would make up 10 and you should be good you may have an ounce left over but that's okay Little ounce hurt no one. You can make an extra. Oh Lord, I can't get this thing off here for nothing. There we go. Alright, so yay. We may still have some extra. I do want to dome it nicely. Oh, we may not have any extra. Okay, well, that's good. I had extra last night. Oh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, just don't want it running over, and I pray that it does not. Because once this is done, I am not spraying it with no more alcohol. I will take a lighter and pop any bubbles if they come up. Most of the time, there is no bubbles left to come up in here. So, yeah, I'm just pushing down some of this foil. The foil likes to float to the top. So, yeah. Alrighty. So, basically, uh, it's going over right here. I think we may be too full. Well, I know I'm not adding any more, so yeah. I will not add any more because we are full. Oh, man. Oh, that's just a little spot there. Okie dokie, there is some right there, though. Alright, I think I have got it all. Well, now I just made another problem right there. Never mind. Do not have it all. Alrighty. I probably just have to shave up the bottom a little bit. That's okay. It's no big deal. I've got handy dandy tools for that. That's right. Handy dandy tools. Alrighty. So I will have all of these and show them to you together. All three of them. And then they can go out to Miss... Kim and join their new happy home. Oh Lord, now I am all sticky. And I cannot get this stuff from coming off of here for nothing. And I need to clean a paddle. Alright, you guys, that is all we are doing. We're just gonna let this cure and we'll come back to finish it off. See you soon. Well, hello again, everyone. It is time to unmold this, and I am very, very nervous. And I say that because I, I see from here it looks good, but I just don't know how this sunset is going to look. So let's get this show on the road because we're still not done. I still have to trim it in black. And I will be putting y'all on a fast forward for that because this video is already getting on. Eh. 
Oh, man. <sighs> well, I think I scratched Mr. Elephant a little bit when I was thinking that. Yeah. Oh, the sunset looks a whole lot yellower than I intended. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know if she's going to like this or not. Yeah, see where I scratched that a little bit right there? I don't know if I can fix that or not. Now this has some blue in it, but you can barely see it. Yeah. Everything else is good, but yeah, we are going to... We're going to go on and finish it. Uh, we got we got a few bubbles right in here, but that's okay. We're not gonna worry about that because we have a fix for that. <laughs> that's no biggie. Yep. Yep, we have a fix for that. So, I am going to get some black um, resin mixed up. I'm not e using UV, and I'm going to put y'all on a fast forward. And this tray has a lot of trimming to do, too. This tray should come to life once you add this black to it. Yeah, see, I got to be careful. I got some trimming to do. But I will get it trimmed up. Yeah, especially right in here. My mat must have came unlevel again. I'm going to have to recheck it. Alright, let me put y'all on a fast forward. All I'm doing is filling in all the areas that's supposed to be black. So I will be back.
Alrighty, everyone. We are on our last step to finishing the last tree for Miss Kim. So, what I have done is I have mixed up um, did I mix up an ounce? Yeah, one ounce of the clear. Hopefully the camera, the camera is not straight. I'll get it together in a minute, you guys. <laughs> so I mixed up one ounce of clear with some crushed crystal in there. And the only thing we're going to do is spray a little bit of alcohol in here. Just a little bit. And we are going to pour our clear in. Hopefully I made up enough. I couldn't remember if I made up one ounces or two ounces the last time. But I think it was just one ounce because you just want to coat the bottom. And it's actually going to make this um, tray come alive once it's coated. All the mica powders are going to start to get a lot brighter and look a whole lot better. See the shine on them? Watch as it goes down. You'll catch all the effects. It just makes the, the effects come out even more. And if I have to make up some more, I will. But that was one ounce. Usually one ounce is plenty. So I might have to make up another ounce though. But see how it's just starting to come alive? Those are like coming alive. Yeah, perfect. And that's exactly what you want. You want it to come alive. Try to get the rest out. Like I said, if I have to make up some more, I will. I could have sworn an ounce was enough, though. Because you just want a thin coat. So, I'm going to sit here and I am going to move him around. And this is the last step to the tray. After that, when I come back, I will be coming back and I'll have all three of them sitting here together for you guys. So y'all can see all three of the trays side by side. Okay, so I am going to get a clean stick to push this around in. So yeah, and then that way I will know if I also need any more. So... Oh gosh. I am going to take a lighter. A lighter is going to kind of heat it up a little bit. And in case it got missed by any bubbles in the vacuum chamber. And all that alcohol is gone. So no, there's no fire. Oh goodness. So yeah, I kind of just want to push the resin around. Try to get it to where... See how it's just coming alive? Watch this. Watch the spot. See how now it just co it comes alive right before your very eyes. The tray has come to life in beautiful color. And that's sometimes if you if it doesn't quite look right, maybe you just need a top coat. Cuz a top coat will bring it to life. It surely will. There's a lot right there. See, I could push this over into here. And then I will go back over it with a lighter. Because I could be making some little bubbles here or there. Yep, see, I just made one right there. So, yeah, I just want to make sure I go over it real good. Make sure I'm not making any bubbles that aren't necessary here. Because you just want a thin layer. You're not trying to fill this tray up. And I love how it just comes to life right before your eyes with the colors. Because before it was looking, eh, it looked good, but the colors are just popping now. They are popping get this tree covered I don't think I'm gonna have to make any more as long as I don't see it like bare pooling like where it's just bare so I will keep an eye on it for a minute even after this camera is off and if I have to add a little bit more 
I will. Oops. I didn't put any gloves on, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Lord, I didn't. But I'm still going to have to because I have to clean my cup. So, yeah. Still have to put some gloves on. Yeah, see, if I should have made up an ounce and a half, I think. But we're going to see how far this gets us. Like I said, if it starts separating, I know I need some more. Oh, okay. I really hope you like these, Miss Kim. I really hope you like them. They are beautiful in person. I know the camera does not do these things justice. Alright, so I am going to pop. I know I see that bubble. See, he just went away just like that. Real quick. Let's just run this over it real quick. Because I do not want any bubbles. Whatsoever. In my. Finished product. Alright. So. See this. Uh, didn't get down in there. Okay, yeah, see, so you just want to check your little spots there and make sure nothing's floating in here, too. If you see something floating, now's the time to get it out that doesn't belong. Put it like that. If it doesn't belong, get it out before it cures. Other than that, it's going to be stuck in there. And I will be covering this up, so... So, yep, beautiful, our beautiful African lady, our queen, she is so beautiful, she is so, so beautiful, I love this tree, alright, so far, it's looking good, I don't want to spray it with any more alcohol, so, yeah, I'm going to just go over it real quick with a lighter. I'm blowing it out by flashing it to going so fast. But I don't want to burn the resin. You can burn your resin. So, don't just, like, sit there and hold it in one spot. You can burn your resin. Don't do that. All right. Um, I don't see any spots that are sticking out on me where it's like separating so I think we are good and now I need to put gloves on just to clean the cup out I am going to go on and get the rest of this out though And I got to clean my paddle, too, because I did stir this with a paddle. I didn't stir this with the... And I just made... I, I'm making bubbles by doing this. So I will hit this little elephant here. Because I see the bubbles. And I don't want to spray it with alcohol. Alright, there we go. Mr. Bubbles is gone. So, yeah. That looks really beautiful. I know it's set aside, but I've got y'all like in a zoomed. Yeah, so I'm going to get my gloves on. I am going to clean that up. When we come back, I will clean all this off and we'll have all three trays right by each other. And you can see the difference on all of them. So I will see you soon. Bye for now. Hello, everyone. We are at the end. <laughs> Everything is done. And this is our beautiful African lady tree. 
with the sunrise and not the sunset. So this is one of them. I'm going to show you all three of them. See the color change in it when you move? It does have a color change to it. Very, very beautiful. I love this tree. These trays turn out so nice. So, yeah, that's the first one. Well, that's the one we did on this video. This is the one I did for her off video. And believe it or not, I used this yellow in here. But it did not show through. <laughs> it did not show through at all. So, yeah. So, this was the other one. And each one will always come out differently. So, that's number two. And then this is the first one I did. I know it's hard to see sometimes. But, yeah, this is the original one. This is the first one. The only thing I changed was her skin tone. Instead of brushing on the mica powder, I mixed the mica powder. And each one has a different shade in her. So, she is three different shades. Hopefully, the camera does not cut off. I can bring you down some. And the glare from the lights, I do apologize. So, yeah, we have like two different... Well, we have three different skies. So, yeah, each one is beautiful as the next. So, yeah... And each one a little bit different there. Yep. So I hope you like these, Miss Kim. They are gorgeous. The camera does not do them justice as usual. But they are beautiful. And they will be headed your way tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. I'm going to get these in the printed out tonight. And, well, the shipping label printed out tonight and get everything you ordered sent to you. And these were a pleasure to make. I, I love these trays. They are so awesome. All right, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I will see y'all on the next video. Bye for now.